Good morning. It's um, almost 10 on day six of uh, after my surgery. Uh, I was actually so comfortable last night going to sleep that this morning I'd forgotten I had even had an incision, which sounds great, except for I uh, woke up needing to cough. And so I just let it rip. Not recommended. It was horrible. Um, but, uh, you know, after a few minutes, I, I could recuperate. I did notice that chemically taste in in my cough. So that was kind of an eye opener. I really thought I'd already gotten all of that out of my lungs. I did not. So I am going to push the hot teas even harder. I'm going to uh, continue to walk. I'm going to continue to use my piper so that I can expand my lung capacity and uh, fend off any kind of um, pneumonia. I, I don't even think I'm close to pneumonia, but the very fact that, you know, Five days after something has been um, introduced to my lungs that it's still there is kind of creepy. So I'll be looking into that. Um, I haven't had any medication yet this morning at all. Um, I got up after that, um, waited until the, I, you know, the pain had subsided. Um, it was a well, you know, the initial burn was right there and and there was some pain as it stressed my incisions. Um, so I had to wait for that to kind of calm down before I could get up and move around. Um, my husband has already gone to work and so I decided to spend the day figuring out how I was going to take the trash out in less than 10 pound increments. Um, it was an interesting exercise, I gotta say. But mission accomplished, and my house isn't going to fall apart just because I am recovering, which might be another statement for another time. I don't know. Anyway, uh, because of the cough and um, being distracted, I did not bring the uh, picture of um, during surgery back to my bedroom. Um, it's way on the other end of the house. So I apologize. I am so sorry. I will be putting that up here um, shortly, probably today, but I'll give you a big warning beforehand because, um, yeah, it, it, we definitely need to take a look at that. Uh, in the meantime, though, uh, they did let me um, go to yesterday. They did release me to use other uh, compression garments besides the one that they applied at the hospital. Um, so I have uh, one of these that I just have in my closet. Um, it's uh, just it's got some little plastic boning in it. It's got 10 million hooks. Um, this one is uh, maiden form. Um, but, you know, they make tons of them. Uh, Spanx are okay to use. Um, the only thing that I was concerned about was I didn't want something that was just elastic that I had to, like, pull on and pull off. Because I don't know if I am confident enough yet in, A, my ability to pull it off, and, B, what that would do to like stress everything and I really the the mechanical hooks is something I feel better about so I'm gonna try this or I well I tried that one last night I actually didn't even make it I, I went home and immediately washed that belly band got all of the blood stains and the discharge out thank god um and uh we went on from there but i'm gonna try this for a couple days um i have a feeling that i'll be using them for a while um just until i feel comfortable with the rest of that that's all right i honestly i use them every once in a while anyway if i have like i stress my back out and i want to put a patch on there and i want to make sure that it actually stays i'll actually pull put that on top of it and that way i can go to work do my thing without having to worry about adjusting it all the time um so uh let's take a look at the injuries today um my port is now a lovely shade of orange um there we go i think it's looking really good um, the port itself is looking like that. There we go. Um, 
Don't worry about the uh, blue stripes there. Uh, that's not a bruise. That's the and the um, adhesive uh, from the tape. I'm not really great at really scrubbing my port my bruises yet um and so that'll fall off i just happen to be using a lot of blue sweatpants right now and so that's what that's from um here's the other side though oh, that's looking really good so you know it, it's clearing up um I'm, I'm really happy about that uh let me cover my crotch so we don't do and only fans here and there's that side the bruise on this side is getting a little darker that's okay. Um, and uh, my crotch, let's see. Well, okay, I'd have to go down much lower to see to show you where the uh, bruising is for that. Um, it's really not bad at all. It's a little poofy, um, you know, the area is, but I am getting up. I'm doing a lot more exercise. The port is still there doing its job, so I'm not worried about that very much. Um, I did put some antibiotic ointment um, on uh, my uh, belly button yesterday. The minute the doctor let me do that, I was on it. And so let me show you what that looks like now. Yeah, it still looks like hell, um, but uh, it's not bad. Um, I still don't feel any of it. Um, the redness is a lot better than it was. Um, it's not giving me much trouble at all. And yeah, from what the uh, surgeon said yesterday, it actually looks like it's supposed to. So I guess that's a good thing. I can't even imagine what it would look like if they, if it was looking worse than it was supposed to, but they, that's what they keep telling me is that that, that is the area that's going to look the worst when you have, um, abdominoplasty. So you know, it could look worse somewhere else. Um, I, yeah, you guys know the scarring I had before that from my other surgeries. They always, my belly button was kind of the one thing that always kind of went back to shape. So, you know, I'll live with it. But anyway, um, pain scale, um, one being what pain, 10 being, oh my God, um, I'm at a one. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Doing a lot of that today. <clears throat> And I'm actually still feeling, it's still tasting that chemical. Um, <clears throat> but, um, <clears throat> <clears throat> and it stays. Anyway, um, on the pain scale, um, I'm not feeling anything. I mean, I'm really not feeling anything until I cough, until I move wrong, until I bend over and forget I'm wearing this and I pull the port. Um, I'm okay. So, you know, hey, we, we can't beat that. And this is on, right now, not even any ibuprofen. I mean, I'm, I'm going to take some later on because I'm not stupid. But, um, you know, hey, it's without any kind of uh, opiates or narcotics. Um, very little ibuprofen. We just got to watch ourselves and we got to do what the doctor says and be mindful of our bodies we can get through it. Um, now, of course, this is my experience with that. So, you know, look, if you need something for pain, if your pain experience and your pain tolerance is not where mine is, that is not a bad thing at all. Um, take care of yourself. That's that's the most important thing. Um, but, you know, so long as it's, yeah, so long as I guess I get out the point that this is, is okay and it's not nearly as scary and painful and traumatic and everything as we thought or, you know, you were afraid of, then I'm okay. We Then you're okay. Um, at least I've helped you make an educated choice. Uh, but anyway, I will check in uh, with you guys later on. I'm going to go get dressed and then take my medication this morning. Um, I'm going back to my routine. Uh, I take um, multivitamins and a uh, um, and two uh, 200 milligram um, ibuprofen in the morning. I take two ibuprofen in the afternoon, take two ibuprofen in the evening, and I am going right back to it. I am having no problem with it though. So definitely if you if your experience is not like mine, you don't want to be doing that. You want to make sure that you consult with your doctor. I am not a doctor. I don't pretend to be a doctor. I don't know any more about any of this stuff than you do. I'm just recording my experiences. But anyway, uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.